All right, and now we have come to our dealing with difficult people strategy for the week. And this week, we're going to talk about that person who likes to judge other people, who likes to judge other people's decisions, who likes to make comments about other people's decisions, what they wear, how they do it, how they dress, how they speak, the decisions that they make. It could be other people or it could be you. We're going to talk about that judge, and this particular strategy is used when you want to judge the judge. Remember that judges are people who actually, most of the time, care about whatever it is they're judging. For example, let's say that you're working with an, uh, a coworker and they're criticizing your supervisor because your supervisor had to come up with a theme for the holiday party and the theme that your supervisor chose was under the sea. I don't know, I just, I just saw Once Upon a Time and they were doing the, the, the episode with, with The Little Mermaid. So I have under the sea in the brain. So let's say that that is the situation. Or let's say that you have a child and you're with an aunt and your aunt said something, uh, or and, excuse me, and your child decided to get a brand new hip hairdo where it's a mohawk, orange on one side, green, at, green on the other side. And the judge at work might say something such as, oh, did you hear about the under the sea theme that Marcy chose as the theme for this year's holiday party. What a dumb theme. That could be something that the judge would say, or a judge would say to you about your own child. I see that your child got a new hairdo. Do you think that's really appropriate for school? Or do you think that that is an appropriate hairdo for a child his age? That's a judge. Remember that the judge tends to honestly, in their, in their heart, they care about the things that they're judging. If they didn't care, they wouldn't judge. So I'm going to just assume that you care, and if you knew how to express your concern and your love of these things while being loving and getting your needs met at the same time, you do that. You just don't know how. But it's difficult to respond to a judge sometimes because when they're being judgmental, what we tend to do is combat that negativity with more negativity, right? Or with uh, some type of sarcastic comment or with some type of difficult comment. And remember, you cannot transform negativity with negativity. You can't do that. However, judges tend to polarize when you judge them. Normally, our difficult behavior, whatever it is that we do, we hate it when people do it to us. We hate it. So with a judge, when you judge them, but we're going to do it in a savvy way, when you judge them, what they tend to do is deny whatever your judge is and go in the complete opposite direction. And however you're judging them, they're going to say, no, no, you are incorrect because they don't like to be judged. And if you're judging them, you're wrong. So there is a two-step process used when we judge the judge. And here it is. Step number one, you're going to paraphrase their judgment back to them, but you're going to exaggerate it big time. And then step number two, you're going to phrase it as a question. So here's what I mean. If, for example, the judge said something along the lines of, did you hear about that stupid theme that Marcy chose for the year-end celebration? She chose under the sea. That is the dumbest theme I've ever heard of. I might say to the judge, wow, do you think that Marcy is deliberately trying to sabotage the entire event? Is that what you think? Now, I'm asking the judge, is that what you think? Because when, you say to, when I'm judging you saying, wow, do you think that they're trying to deliberately sabotage this whole event? The judge is feeling judged. Is that what you're saying? And they're going to say, well, no, I'm not saying that. And then I would respond by saying something such as, yeah, I don't think so either. And the judge has now rejudged their own judgment. If they were to say something about, let's say, my child and say, do you really think that's an appropriate hairdo for a child his age? I might say, well, do you think my son wants to look ridiculous or wants people to think that he's inappropriate or unattractive? Is that what you're saying? You think he wants that? And when you say that, the judge will be like, well, no, that's not what I'm saying at all. I mean, I'm just saying, do you think that's an appropriate hairdo? Well, I'm asking you, do you think that he's deliberately trying to be unattractive or draw negative attention to himself? And in that case, when I'm saying, is this what you're saying, that he wants other people to think he's unattractive? 
you're going to say something along the lines of, well, I mean, no, nobody would want that. And I'd say, yeah, I don't think so either. I'm glad you agree. You know, or turn it around. And then when they say, no, I don't agree with that judgment, I'm going to say, great, I agree with you. I don't agree with that judgment either. I think you're right. And once they have flip-flopped, which they will do when you exaggerate their judgment and bring it back to them in form of a question. So are you saying that X, Y, Z, are you saying, for example, let's say that you're at work and uh, Marcy gave a report to the board and the judge said, that was the most unorganized report I have ever heard delivered in one of these meetings. I might say, wow, do you think she's deliberately trying to sabotage her career and elicit negative criticism from not only us, but her own boss? Watch, the judge will say something like, well, no, I mean, I don't think she'd do that. Yeah, I don't think so either. There are many ways to deal with a judge. Try that one first because I found it to be super effective, and it's a great way to say to that judge, hey, I'm going to show you the judgment that you're making, and I'm just going to exaggerate it a little bit so that you can see what you're really doing. Is that what you intend to do? And it's amazing how the judge will flip-flop, stop judging, and then you can agree with them at the end, and everybody's happy. And that is how you judge the judge.